there uh, welcome to data audition today I'm going to show you how to use these three features in Excel which is freeze pens speak cells and split screen what does those uh, features do well a lot a lot they do a lot in terms of navigation it is gonna be very smooth while navigating through a very large report now for the first time let's talk about freeze pens freeze pins can actually make the first row to be static and the first column to be, to be static we have some predefined one which is the one defined for, for top row that is not going to affect the first column and design, the one designed for first column that is not going to affect the uh, top row so let us try one of it and see now you can i want to use a defined one i can place my cursor here right now you see if i scroll down everything disappears so now i can actually go to freeze parents you can locate that in your view you click on freeze pins and use the top okay let's just use the top first row now you see the first row got stick Retail. now on freeze now you use the first column you can see when it goes to the right only the first column does you still can still move along with that now we are to unfreeze and actually use our custom one click right here and go on freeze parents now the top row is actually what we want it to be and the second one now you can see it is very easy for you to lock it uh, December 20 uh, in this very voltage fine I got this now the next one I'm going to be talking about is split screen the split screen will help you to actually navigate as well navigate through your reports as well now let's say you want to know what this one is and you want to know what if it is if it does correspond to the down one now you can really like, okay you have to go scroll down and look at what this one is and go back through here instead use your split uh screen you can click on split screen right here now you have it you have the system split it into two now you have it right here you can go down now you want to compare this and this is very close that is what is actually uh does as well now let's say you want to like okay you want to know you have a report and you're working on a report you're typing it down from your booklet now you want to compare the one you've typed the system to the one you have in your booklet if they actually correspond what do you use you have to use your speak cells you can highlight where you want it to speak from and click on 10, it 11,900 9,300 that is what it is it doesn't only work with figures it works it works with text as well. You can just highlight it and click on it. Freeze panes. Speak cells and split screen for long reports. That is what it is. So you can actually use that to make everything easy. Instead of you to go to your booklet and check or uh, you repost you want your routine that you type the system to check and come back to the system and check. You can have it read it out for you while you cross check right there. When you're not really okay with what you heard you can pause and re-edit so where can you get this you can just go to your file and go to option from option we choose customize ribbon then we go to all commands then from all commands you scroll down to find where you can actually get it from and when you scroll down you just got to put your eyes on sp okay scroll down now here we go speak cells then you click add and you click ok you you just got it in. so right now i don't really need it, need it because i have it right here so if you need it just go ahead and click and actually you know have it there as well so that is what it actually does so you can see those great features and excel that can actually make your report very very easy so thank you for watching i'll be coming away with more tutorials on power bi sql and more on excel as well please do subscribe to my channel as i'll be coming away with more and more all day long thanks for watching